Hey everyone, Madness80 here doing another Throwback Madness. This is the third one in an ongoing series on the channel. Taking a look, and first for the channel, a 12-inch 1-6 scale figure. Uh, this one, in particular, celebrates the 10th anniversary of Grand Theft Auto 3, which was 10 years ago. That's right, the game is now 20 years old. God, I'm old. Uh, but Grand Theft Auto 3 was uh, like a groundbreaking game on the PS2 phenomenal game if you've never played it i wouldn't recommend going back even that five and you know four even or just leagues better than this uh so this figure here is on um, i can't even call him a protagonist but is on the main playable character which is claude he uh didn't speak unlike all the other characters in grand theft auto who had tons of dialogue and, uh, you know, my favorite, one of my favorites being Tommy Versetti. Uh, that's a game I'd love for them to remake. Uh, but even three, I would take a remake on three. I'm rambling about video games now, but let's focus on this toy, Sideshow Toys. Again, this was a limited run on the Sideshow website 10 years ago, celebrating Grand Theft Auto 3. As you can see, the box is similar to the game's box art. Rockstar Games Presents up at the top. Grand Theft Auto 3 logo, 10, 10 year anniversary. Rockstar Games logo on the lower right hand corner. Box is a bit dinged up. Again, this product is 10 years old itself. Claude, collector edition, not for children. The game itself also wasn't for children. So again, this was our main character, Claude. A lot of people maybe didn't know his name. I don't know if his name was ever said in the game. You can see, so for those of you who played the game, you know once you get the five star warning or uh, yeah, five stars, you're gonna get the military after you. These games are fantastic, fantastic open world games. Grand Theft Auto 3. So, found running in the streets of Liberty City in Grand Theft Auto 3, Claude rose from a small-time bank robber who was betrayed by his girlfriend to a big-time gangster ready to get revenge. This fully articulated 1-6 scale action figure, Claude comes dressed in his original attire of cargo pants and a bomber jacket, but he can also sport his iconic Liberty City prison-issued jumpsuit supplied. Claude comes equipped with an arsenal of classical weapons from Grand Theft Auto 3, including a bat, knife, grenades, pistol, sniper rifle, and assault rifle. So the gameplay then was a little janky. I myself preferred a baseball bat. Um, aiming, guns, all that stuff. God, this camera, I need a new stand. Apologies. Uh, but yeah, well, well, let me go ahead. This is a slip cover. Inside box is in a little better shape. Same thing, same presentation all throughout it. And this is magnetized. Ooh, 10 year old tissue paper. A lot of glare. Let's see if I can get rid of that. And there's Claude in his cloudy glory. You can see his weapons there on R left. Three uh, automatic type weapons. Or one's a sniper, I believe. I don't know. I'm not a weapons guy. Grenade. Is one missing? No, that is the little plug for the tray. Baseball bat. Uh, looks like an Uzi and Claude himself, extra fist, and the prison jumpsuit. That's the orange thing behind him. All right, let's get this dude open. All right, going to try working with this setup angled down. Again, here's a close-up of Claude, kind of out of package. Uh, let's see how to go about this. Wow, interesting. <laughs> there we go. Here is Claude out of package. Now, likeness aside, he was a low res PlayStation 2 uh, character model. So, you know, it's kind of like McFarlane Toys doing the original Metal Gear Solid figures where their face was just kind of like muddy pixels. Uh, so to me, this looks great. You know, if there was a high res interpretation and I believe there was, I believe Claude made an appearance in one of the later Grand Theft Autos, maybe San Andreas with CJ, the one that was based in the 90s, uh, gang, Los Angeles gang life. But yeah, looking fantastic, man. Fake leather material with working zipper. So I got this before that Hot Toys boom that happened. I would say once the Marvel stuff kicked off at the MCU, the Hot Toy quality kind of just jumped leaps and bounds over everybody else. But this is pretty good for a sideshow figure. So you can see the shading and detail there on his face. However, the neck is a brighter, flesh tone so no detail there but looks good sideburns hair nice sculpted hair nice little waft in the front again our silent character similar to link only the deeds he does are not as good 
uh, fake socks. As you can see, they don't go all the way. Oh, there we go. That's how it's supposed to be. I yanked them up. Kind of corners being cut there, but shoes. Not real any detail. No real detail there at the bottom. Looking awesome. He does come with trigger finger hand and a grip hand. You can see there. And then the prison jumpsuit. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to put this on him. I may, I may not. Grand Theft Auto 3 stand. Still in bag. Uh, and then two fisted hands, which I'm getting off camera right now. Forgive my setup, man. I don't really have anywhere to do 12 inch figures. But you can see the tainted detail versus the brightness of the peg there. Looking good. As far as Arsenal, oh, I'm excited for this little bat. Let's just put this up here. Look at that submachine gun, bat, nice wooden detail. Grenades, pistol, sniper rifle, and some automatic weapons. Let's go ahead and just get some closer look here. That's looking awesome. It's kind of solid, man. Looks good. It's pretty good. Folds nicely. Clip, bullet, pre-Mezco days. Of course, you know, a lot more was expected from 1-6 uh, scale figures, even back then. Nice combat knife. Looking good. No real weapon storage on this dude. Uh, granted, if you played Grand Theft Auto, they literally pulled their weapons out of their ass, so. Cock that back. Ammo clip. One of the grenades, which were a fantastic weapon to use in that game. Uh, a lot of people, when they played Grand Theft Auto, uh, didn't, <laughs> at least back then, since it was kind of a, you know, kind of the first of its kind, uh, not necessarily the first open world game, but like, you know, you were able to cause as much chaos as you want. So grenades, you know, throwing them at cop cars and just building up your police stars and barricading yourself. Uh, so the military and the police personnel were bottlenecked and you would try to jack a tank. So good, so fun. Many late nights seeing how many of us could uh, steal a tank and put it in our garage. And then miraculously, once you went in the garage, the cops kind of went away. This looks good. Nicely detailed weapons. Which I do not know the name of. Look at that. Detailed all the way up to the top. For a strap that he does not come with. Very good. And finally, the sniper rifle. This looks fantastic. Holy cow, look at that. Oops, I may have just broken this piece. I did right there. That's fine. Nothing a little glue can't fix. Awesome. Back to Claude. So standard 112 type of articulation. You got movement at the neck, at the bottom of the neck there. And at the top, this is all articulation we're now seeing in uh, like six inch figures. Some Marvel Legends do that, some Black Star Wars Black Series. But it's just kind of common now to us. But, you know, back then this kind of luxury was uh, almost one, one six scale type of quality. Similar to the McFarlane figures we see today. Those type of pegs. Hands do come off pretty easily. He says struggling. There you go. And then we can just swap whatever hand on. There's a little lip there. For secure. So this isn't like a Mafex figure where you just kind of slide it on the peg. And that's that. Cargo pants. This dude is fantastic. So the thing that gets me about this, if I had him on my shelf, kids would be like, why do you have like a figure of just a man? Why do you have a man doll on your shelf? It's like, what? You little punk. This is Claude from Grand Theft Auto 3. So uh, no fault of us being the collector, but you know, Rockstar Games did put more character development 
in their uh, main characters as the games went on. Tommy Rossetti being a huge and uh, just huge upgrade from uh, in character development in Grand Theft Auto Vice City, voiced by Ray Liotta. Um, I think he might have been the biggest name they've got to voice a character, a main character in their games. Uh, followed by CJ in San Andreas, followed by Nico Bellic in Grand Theft Auto 4, and then Grand Theft Auto 5 had three characters, which were Michael, Trevor, and uh, Franklin. Uh, Trevor, played by Stephen Ogg, seen in Walking Dead, and among other things, I think might be one of the more popular ones. I think he was in Breaking Bad as well. Yeah. Looking at his face again. It's pretty good, man. Not bad for a 10-year-old figure. A little dark in the shading, I'd say. Especially given how white his neck is, but uh, I, I feel like you don't really have time to bathe in these games. This type of lifestyle. So, functioning zipper. Pulling this off. Now, in this game, I don't recall you could change your style, your clothes. I think what you had on is what you had on. And that was that. Um, it wasn't until the later games you can customize your character. Especially uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas with... You can make your character fat, you can make your character buff. You know, if you didn't exercise, your character would just kind of get fat. If you didn't get a haircut, you would grow an afro and so on. You know, you didn't shave, blah, 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 all that stuff. So Claude was Claude. He did open the game with the Liberty City prison jumpsuit. So let me see how go about opening this. I'm gonna try to put this on. A little awkward doing this, uh, this functioning belt, crazy. So before I continue really quick, feet and these are the way the hands are supposed to come out because the extra hands have these extra pegs but yeah you can see it's kind of a rigid system goes in on and off really and here is claude as seen in the opening moments of the game again i believe uh his truck his girlfriend and his crime boss or whatever help him escape they blow it up and then they betray him and then yeah that's it's been forever man I, you know <laughs> forgive me i think the last time i played this was on an ipad maybe eight years ago Liberty City State Pen. So if you don't know, Liberty City is Rockstar Games' take on New York City. Vice City is their take on uh, Miami. Los Santos is Los Angeles. And those are really been the only three places this game has taken place. So looking fantastic. That was quite a feat taking a... I've never undressed a figure before. That was weird. So... Uh, so I have taken Claude out of the package before, but his weapons, his jumpsuit, all that stuff was new. So it's been sitting in package for 10 years. Uh, box kind of on display here and there, but it is definitely, and this world, this word is thrown around way too loosely. This is definitely a grail piece for Grand Theft Auto fans. And for those who know, uh, not like finding a Marvel Legends and calling it your grail that, you know, shipped two months ago at Target. Ridiculous use of that word from a lot of you people. All right, two gaming legends side by side and Star-Lord, who, not this particular version, will be in a video game himself this fall. Fantastic piece, man. If you know, you know. If you're a hardcore gamer, track this dude down. The aftermarket fluctuated so much throughout the 10 years this has been out. I've seen it go for nearly $1,000 to $400. I don't, you know, if you can find it on eBay or anywhere at all. Uh, again, this is a true grail piece for those Grand Theft Auto fans, especially since Rockstar Games doesn't really license their products out. That can be my guess. I, I, I'm sure they're being approached left and right, but I see no other reason why there hasn't been any Grand Theft Auto action figures. I mean, they'd just be a lot of, you know, they make great civilian pieces in your action figure photography. But, you know, I would love six inch action figures of Tommy Rossetti and uh, Trevor and so on. But here we are. This is what we got, 12 inch Claude Grand Theft Auto 3. Thank you for checking out this video, this week's throwback, and I'll come back with some more. Thank you.